Hello guys, we are back for another episode of Either One. And we're going to be advancing to the next part since I finally decided let's move forward. And hopefully we can come back and fix the other tape recorders. But if we can't, I'll try doing it in my free time and just upload the clips of the different ones we weren't able to fix during next recording. Let's get back to the game. <laughs> Yes, we better. Wait. Did it not? I'm pretty sure I hit save. Let's walk back up towards there because I know I actually went through the gates. And I even posted the clip of me activating the um, memory kind of bow. So yeah, I guess I just save back here. I don't know. Hmm. Whatever. Just keep walking. There's a pinwheel. But, um, Kind of like update on what I'm doing. As you part of my computer is done. Only currently one fan's working, so I can't render videos. I've tried. My computer. Let's just say it was making a lot of noise. And it was getting hot. Extremely. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of a mod pack called Valkyria, something like that. It's a good magic mod pack I used to play a while back. Yeah, like ours magic and everything, but it's removed ours magic now. What's this say? Painter's journal. Okay, crap, we missed one, but entry three. In today's workshop, we're asked to paint using a personal life experience as inspiration. I struggled to think of anything at first, as I wanted to think about my time in America. My thoughts kept coming back to pinball. Eventually, I gave up and decided to draw upon an event that happened here in the 1960s. Something that was traumatic for me. And the rest of the village. The mines. From memory. What dark. Claustrophobic. And the men trapped down there helpless as the water came through the cabin wall. I wish I could remember all the names. And I hope today's painting did them all justice. My teacher said it was very good. But a little too dark for her. Eh. Worst game, no physics. But also music. But yeah, they moved ours magic. I don't know if they're gonna add it back in a later patch, but currently we are just now starting on our Thumbcraft experience. So I'm guessing this is the collapsed mines that I've been hearing so much about. Yeah, but me and him, we have a good sized base hidden not gonna tell you it's where because I don't want anyone snooping around our stuff so I'm guessing that's the next place to go to that gate and it looks like there too painter journal for 10 okay dr. Edmonds asked me to write in here during my therapy sessions and not at home because I haven't been filling out my book when I am on my own I told her I did not want to do it anymore, but she insisted that I do because it will help me remember things. I just want to paint. I don't want to rap. Colors make it clearer. They make everything clearer for me. Today I'm going to paint the view from out this window. Then Dr. Edmonds says Jim is going to come and pick me up and take me back to the care home. Thomas. Thomas Edison? The, the light bulb, lots of light bulbs. So I'm guessing, because there's talking about two locations, maybe I get to pick which one I go to next. Just gonna slowly trot over here with my invisible feet. Okay, I guess I can't. No, is this the orchard? Cause I have an orchard key. 
I don't know if that's an orchard. Is there nowhere else to go? Let me see if I can actually activate that. Okay, I have to do something else first. I can't go there. So, some of me not gonna go there, and it kind of looks low res. So I don't think that is available to enter. There's something I'm missing. I don't know where she's talking about continuing up following the river. But I guess I'm just gonna have to walk around this location for a bit, trying to find something. Something to make things clearer. There's Painter Journal 3, the collapsed mine, which I don't think I can do anything with. And the water? Maybe I can just walk in the actual lake? I don't think it's gonna let me. Or it will, and I'll just follow the lake up. Okay. This might end up leaving me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right way. So I'm trying to follow Gene's tracks. Okay, I think I found the right place. We have a new adventure. More loading screens. This is a very good game. I was confused for a bit. Like, yeah, Gene turns out like light bulbs, the key ear, the painter man, the old man with the love of his life, and they have a uh, up on the cliff near the tree. They buried that thing. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for an item to make. Put the orchard key back. I'm gonna take that flash shot. No naked flames, gas, math. But so now I'm, I don't remember if we talked about it earlier, but according to her, we're looking for something to make me stronger, help with relapses. Try to make sure we don't lose our jobs. RP. Okay, so it's time to guess a code. If it would have worked, I would have been kind of dumb, but. Error code, special. I was gonna see. I guess that'd be a bit too easy for her. So I'm guessing I have to fix these pipes, maybe. So red buttons. I'm. Does it either red light saying it's not working or red buttons I'm supposed to be hitting? And I'm just bad at activating buttons. I'm guessing I don't need alcohol yet. So I can't activate that. Huh. No exploit. Yep. Have to crouch to get up. This is confusing. Let me try to. I'm just gonna walk around and try to find some books, maybe. To help clarify. Artifact. 
I know I need to walk around and find an artifact. Like nine minutes into the video already. All I've done is I hear whispering. Oh, it's right up there. Okay, um, we try to find a way up there. Like, what the crap? Where are you coming from? Too spooky for me. Collapse. She saw fall from Town Square. Her ears ringing after the deafening blow. Victory shaft swayed, then began to fall like a pack of cards, brushed by a breeze. Thick, black smoke erupted into the air. She told me that at the moment fear had swelled in her like a balloon in her chest. I have bad read, not good English. I'm gonna fail English next semester. <laughs> the victory shaft had fallen and a great accident had occurred in the mine. She feared we were both dead for a brief moment, but I was not there. It would take her years to overcome this. We had to leave. T. Fletcher. Okay, so I'm guessing it was probably his daughter. I, I don't know, sister. I wonder if there was an air pressure control like, thing I read earlier. I have enough time, I think. Let me read it, because I might actually apply to that. Bottom, bottom, top, middle, middle. Bottom, bottom, top, middle, middle. Bottom, bottom, top. Okay, guys, remember that. I know you won't be able to repeat it, but remember. Bottom, bottom, top, middle, middle. Middle, middle. It's not going to get any better. This isn't going to get any easier for anyone. It says here that arsenic was a very useful byproduct of the tin refining process and is still used in many medicines and foods. The miners ground and burnt out any unwanted materials and then exported it for money. But in these quantities, it was extremely lethal. Accidents here are often fatal. Let's find out what happens here. Arsenic is a very bad poison, so yeah, I'm gonna go and activate this one ribbon. I'm gonna cut the video off because it's about to reach the limit. Once I find the ribbon again, miss ribbon. Here you go. Jump. Break my ankles. Okay, so yeah, I do need to wrap this up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and like more videos in the future. You win. You you win more that way. Trust me. This is all for your pleasure. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm gonna hear that. So goodbye.